Hey guys, Daily Tech here, and today we're going to be looking at the Xbox One Connect and how we can get it working on your PC. Now, why would you want to do this? Because there's a ton of things that you could do on your computer for tracking your whole body or even doing head tracking. So what I intend on using it for is to do a little bit of head and body tracking in VR. I bought this thing used a while ago for about 30 bucks knowing that it was a USB 3 camera that had awesome tracking. So I figured I'd pick it up, plug it in my computer and get using it. But to my surprise, the connector on the end was definitely no USB 3. Take a look at that. Now what this connection is, this is a modified USB 3, but it also incorporates 12 volts power. And I've seen some tutorials online that show you how to get a USB cable connected to this and also 12 volt power. So that's precisely what we're going to be doing today. All you're going to need, as you would guess it, is a USB 3.0 cable like this. Just a standard A to B cable that you'd use for any kind of hard drive enclosure. And a 12 volt power supply. Now this one I just had laying around, it's 12 volts and rated for 3000 milliamps. So that way it's going to give us 36 watts of power if you need it. From what I was reading online, people couldn't really decide, but it's usually in the high teens as far as how many watts it needs. So I figured this is going to do just fine. The first thing you have to do to get this thing started is you have to get the cable out of the back of this thing. Now let me tell you, the first time I pulled this thing out, it was almost impossible. I was sure it was glued in there and a lot of people online think the same thing. But you just need a lot of force. And believe me, it's just a whole lot because you're trying to pull a little rubber grommet through there and it really is not supposed to be pulled through. But if you pull it hard enough and give it a little bit of a wiggle, it will pull out. As you can see on mine here, I've already pulled this out once before and the cable comes just out just like that. So it's really no big and you just got a normal looking USB port inside of there. I don't know if the camera will focus, but maybe not. So either way, let's get this thing cracked open. We'll see what we can do with the wiring inside. So now that we have the cable off, we'll just turn this thing over on its top and we need to pull off these on the sides. Now these two covers are going to cover up a bunch of screws, we need to get those out. This may be a good time to mention that you can get the official connect adapter for your PC. However, those are 50 bucks. I can stomach paying 30 for a used connect, but blowing that plus another 50 just to try something out that I may or may not like really doesn't appeal to me. Plus, since I don't even own an Xbox One, I really don't care if I ruin this thing. If you would rather just buy the Xbox One Connect adapter for the PC so that you could skip this mod, you can check the link in the description below. Alright, well it looks like there are only four of these screws and you can see them. One, two, three, four. And there should be the same on the other side here. So I'm going to pull those off right now as well. What you're going to need to get these screws out is a T10 Torx bit. The two longer screws are the security screws, and the shorter ones are the standard screws. The security bit will work with both, but just remember which holes they came from. Now that we got the screws all out, let's take a look to see what's inside. Once you take the bottom part off, you'll see one torque screw on either side, so just unscrew those to remove the rest of the housing. There we go. And this is what we're left over with. So you can see, here's some cameras and uh, looks like some of your sensors here as well. So all we're really after is up top here where we're gonna solder right above the USB port. All right, let's get our power supply ready to go. We're gonna have to take this plug off the end. If you have some sort of adapter that will work as a female port for this, that'll be great too, but I don't, and I don't want to buy any more for this. So, we're just going to cut the end of this off, right about, that's fine, and then we'll strip this down, feeling I'm going to need a fair amount. And here you just cut your regular 
ground and positive. We'll just take off a little bit and just strip these down just a bit. What I want to make sure I get done too is I want to make sure I want to feed the wires through so that way I can get all the casing back on. So I'm just going to poke them right through here. And I'm going to see if I can get them in behind the metal. So this is exactly how you're going to want to have them like this. So you can see that this is going in behind this metal piece. That way when we solder them down, everything's completely out of the way still. So we'll get the soldering iron warmed up and get these put into place. All right, so we got these soldered on now. Now that's not looking real pretty. I don't know if you can see it there, but I'll show you a closer picture of what it's supposed to look like. Probably somewhere right around Right around here. Okay, so let's get this thing put back together. Basically, we'll just take all of our pieces, we'll put them back on in reverse, and then we'll come back to it at the end. All right, so now that we have it all back together, you can see that the power cable is coming out of there now, like that. And still have access to the USB port and we'll plug that in just like that so now these two are going to work together to give me my USB for data and for 5 volts power I believe that's being used in there as well and also power adapter let's give this thing a shot now okay so we got it all put together we're going to take a look to see if we're going to get this thing working on the computer or not let's plug it in we'll see if we get anything to happen Hopefully we're going to see the computer detect it and we're going to try to get the drivers installed. And if we get that done, I'm going to call it a success and we'll try to do something else with it later. All right, so let's get the power plugged in. So we have the power plugged in now and I see nothing different. Uh, might not be a good sign, but we'll see. We'll plug in the USB and see what happens here. And... Nothing yet. Oh, we just got action. Connect. Looks like it's working. I'm gonna try and install the software development kit and we'll see what happens. I just agree to whatever I just agreed to. Now this is available directly from Microsoft, so it is legit. So that's kind of the, the nice part. I think everything else we're gonna do from here is not gonna be legit, but we'll see. All right, so it's done. Now, I didn't know what else I really was expecting, but uh, either way, it looks like we're good to go.